hello everyone. My name is Mackenzie with Lafonte and Classics. Today I've got a very, very rare little Z28 for us all to check out. Um, we got this car for sale. It is a California car delivered new at John Gear Chevrolet out in Sacramento. If you haven't heard of them before, they are uh, pretty well known. They sponsored a whole bunch of race cars back in the day and even got involved in it themselves. So a car built for Trans Am SCCA right up their alley so cool we still have that and we got a whole bunch of paperwork with this car too it's numbers matching front to back we got protecto plates all the stuff you could ever want and it all matches this puppy's legit it's in a rare color combination this frost green over the medium green interior which is like the same color super unique um from what i can dig up there's 146 of these um supposedly built which is pretty damn rare um, I like to kick these videos off right up front, get you a close-up look at some of your goodies, some factory Z28 stuff, the bumperettes, your race cars had to come with those from the factory, the Z28 badging, um, there's a few other accent pieces around the car, you notice the racing stripes or the Le Mans stripes and the cowl hood, all standard stuff, very cool, and those are standard when you click the Z28 option on your order sheet, under the hood, we have the original block. This thing has been overhauled. We've got the correct winner's intake manifold, that nice aluminum piece that only the Z28 got. Um, up underneath that, we have the original carburetor. It's a 800 CFM Holley. Very slick unit. Now, Everything else in here is very much, you know, stock appearing. It's got a newer AC Delco, nice radio, shroud. Um, all this stuff looks good and plush, working our cowl induction hood. This is a power um, brake assisted car, power steering, um, disc in the front, just like they were when you ordered up that Z. I'm going to show you this thing closing. Very good and tight. Standard on your Z28 is a 15 inch rally. So these things got, you know, a heavier duty suspension and your normal Camaro got a little 14 rally. They stepped it up a bit. They could handle it more, give us a little tighter sidewall and grip a whole lot better, which is sweet. Um, panel fitment. I have nothing but bragging points on this car. It's so flush. Look how this door opens and closes. I didn't have to slam that thing. It's just dialed in. Something you get from a car uh, that hasn't had corner, quarters thrown on it or off the shelf doors put on it, which is cool. Um, all the glass on this car is original to this thing, which is very cool. Um, the color combination is right for just how it was built. You got your rear bumperettes. You even got that part number still on the, the tailpipe, which is cool dig dig these spoilers i believe that is the d80 package um, which this car is equipped with one other real neat thing if you peer up through this back glass this puppy was an option with the rear defrost i haven't seen that yet on a z very neat very neat i'm um, coming down the side i love the nice hips these z28s got or these uh, sorry third gen camaro first gen camaros hot damn but I'm, I'm a fan of the 69, and this is a lot of the reason why, and of course the front end. This is one of those cars, no matter where you look at it from, it's just hot. Um, very easy on the eyes. I'll give you a peek at this interior here. You notice this door opens up like a glove as well. The seats are in very good shape. They got headrests. You got a rally pack gauges downstairs, all of which are working. Um, AM, FM. Um, this one has the, the faux wood option as well on the uh, dash, which is cool. But yeah, this color combination, I have not seen one before. Did a little bit more homework and I figured out why. Like I said, there's less than 200 fitted like this, which is very sweet. Um, you might have noticed in there too, we'll get a closer look at later. This one also came with the walnut uh, steering wheel. Which is sweet. Once again, effortlessly bringing these panels back to flush when you open and close the doors hot daddy yeah this is very very slick car i'm gonna grab the keys um pop the trunk and we'll go for a quick little spin i'll meet you guys at the back in a second all right we're right over here at the back 
I'm going to slip that key on in. Voila, just like that. Um, in the back here, your nice little throw around mat. We've got one of those space saver spares, um, our jack and all the other goodies um, stored in here. Uh, the factory spatter, the blue and the gray spatter is all here present. And yeah, it's in really great shape. Now one neat thing, this hasn't caught your eye yet. We're gonna to wanna to take a look at this. Original owner's manual, and then when we look at the warranty book, we have the original protecto plate, which is awesome. And you notice on here, I'm going to point out one thing, and that is the DZ for that DZ302. Um, there's more goodies in here. Uh, we'll make sure, uh, we'll be glad to break down everything and decode with you via email or over the phone, but it's the right car. These stickers, love seeing that on here. Closes up tight. Hallelujah. Um, car was born with a slick top, no vinyl top. I can keep rambling on and on. Let's jump in this thing, go for a ride. Alrighty, folks. Let me get in here, show you a few things working. Smooth like butter. So I mentioned the walnut wheel earlier, which is a great accent in here, but it's in wonderful shape. Tilt column, a great option. And if you move over here with me a bit we're going to see our clock is working um take a peek down here to the left you notice our blinker comes on just like it's supposed to right same story and then down just a little bit lower over here is actually that uh high and low for the rear defogger which is cool again uh wood foe present over here like you see on the dash um and wonderful wonderful shape now I'm going to climb in this puppy and show you a few more neat things. Um, how do we get it going? Well, one, this does have the original seat belts in it, um, front to back. Even as you look at these shoulder belts, these are even the original ones too. And they're held up nice and tight, just like this headliner, which is very cool. And you might have noticed the dome light is working. Everything in this puppy works just like it's supposed to. Um, we come up front, see our nice, our nice little Hurst shifter coming out of this four speed. We got our rally gauges up there. And what we have behind door number one, your ashtray, your cigarette lighter. Wonderful. Door number two, oh, very clean. Trim down just as it's supposed to be and it opens and closes very nice. I'm gonna bring this thing to life by one pump. Happy camper. I get a load of this. Sweet. Very clean up on the dash. Now just a quick one so you know they work. Ah, lovely. Now, I peer downstairs, I see all of our gauges are working, cooling, obviously this thing's not hot yet so it ain't up to temp, but for a nice cool start, battery of course is great, oil pressure is good, cooling temp, I bet you by the end of our drive we'll be up where we want it to be, um, yeah, off like a prom dress we will go. We've driven this thing 20 feet and I already know it's a good car. Transmission, clutch, everything works very nicely together. Power steering working good. Save us some wind noise. Look how easy these crank up. Now those are the railroad tracks, so a little bit as expected, but shoot. A nice little car. Tack is working right, Speedo's working right. This car shows 86,000 miles. Um, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. These old cars, without all the papers in the world, it's hard to prove those. Looking this car over, like we do hundreds of them, I have no trouble believing those are original. 
um, based on the condition of everything in here. There's original components we're finding left and right. This is awesome. Now I'm digging this Hurst handle. The shift knob fits good. Clutch brakes, everything feels right and tight. These DZ motors, they're basically a 327, but with a, uh, a different crank in them. I believe they had a forged steel crank and uh, some larger, uh, what you call it, some dome pistons. So pretty much gave it a short stroke with the fat little head up there. So when you get up in the RPM range, these things really sing out um, and that's where they make a lot of their power. They were rated uh, under 300 horsepower, but most of the guys who were running these things knew there was something funny about it because they would romp on cars, you know, with big blocks in them, boasting a lot more power. So I'm a believer of that too. After driven, driving a, a few of these things, they haul. sound really good too. If you don't already know that. Oh, getting some waves. Hello, hello. All right. We're going to cruise on back to the shop now. We'll see you guys in just a moment. So now guys, I just want to give you a tour through the underside of this car. Um, Boy, is it impressively clean. Very, very obviously a California car. And it's all been trimmed out with a factory Z-Bart undercoating or like a dealer installed undercoat. They lay it on thick, but boy, oh boy, did it do its job. Um, comb this car over. Nowhere on it. Um, does it show signs of any panel being replaced, which is super cool. Um, yeah, this, this thing is sweet. Um, right up front, these lower control arms, the little joints in there, the ball joints, everything's got a you know couple miles on it, but it's very very clean. Nothing leaking, nothing seeping. The numbers matching engine in this lovely orange oil pan isn't all jammed up with the jack, which looks really good. Bell housing is nice and clean. The numbers matching transmission is a total sweetheart, and this rear uh, seal on it. There's no drop, a little bit of dust or something, but not going to have to worry about that leaking. Uh, the pinch walls, the floors, all original stuff. Love it, love it. We've got the factory chambered little system going on here over the original rear axle, which is awesome. Um, this one has a, a rare, it's pretty seldomly seen, a 331 code posi, which is cool. Um, Rear leaves look good, shocks look good. They even covered the tank for you too, which is in good shape. Exhaust is nice. The lower valence, very, very clean. And then once more of that John gear, that's very cool, still has it. All right, the fun is coming to an end for me. It is always my pleasure to show these to you, but this doesn't mean the story's over for you. This car is for sale. I'm going to give you the number and email where you could reach us all down below, but real quick, in case you're eager, it's 248-714-2110, and uh, down below, it'll be right in the description, along with the link to our listing, where all the pictures will be, the full write-up, a breakdown of every trim tag and stamping you could ever want. Now, um, thank you from LaFontaine Classic Cars. I give this thing two thumbs up. It is a very, very much sorted car with a ton, a ton going for it. If you're looking for a Z28, your buddy can never find the one you never see anywhere. It is this one. This color combination is incredible. I'm a big fan. Give us a call. Thank you much. While you're clicking around down there, why don't you give us a like and a subscribe. See you later.